Jacob took his family and all his possessions, left the land of his uncle Laban, and headed home to Canaan. Going home meant that Jacob would see his brother Esau again. Jacob was afraid that Esau would still be angry with him for stealing his blessing. So Jacob sent messengers to tell Esau that he was coming. When the messengers came back, they told Jacob that Esau was coming to meet Jacob, and he had 400 men with him. Jacob was very afraid. God had promised that his family would be as numerous as the stars, but how could that happen if Esau was going to kill them all? Jacob made a plan. He divided his family into two groups. If Esau attacked one group, maybe the other group could escape. Then Jacob asked God to keep his promise. Jacob prayed, Please rescue me from my brother Esau. Jacob sent a large gift of animals, goats, sheep, camels, cows, bulls, and donkeys to try to make Esau happy. Maybe then Esau would forgive him. That night, Jacob moved his family across the stream where they might be safer. But Jacob stayed behind. a man appeared. The man was actually God himself. The man wrestled with Jacob all night. Jacob refused to give up, so the man injured Jacob's hip. Let me go, the sun is coming up, the man said, but Jacob would not let him go. I will not let you go unless you bless me, Jacob said. Your name will no longer be Jacob, said the man. Your name will be Israel, because you wrestled with God and men, and you have won. The man blessed Jacob. The sun came up, and Jacob limped because of his hip. Now Jacob looked and saw Esau and his 400 men coming to meet him. Jacob went to meet Esau. He bowed down seven times to show respect to his brother. Esau ran to Jacob and hugged him. He was not angry anymore. The two brothers cried together. Esau returned to his home. Jacob and his family traveled to Shechem, and Jacob bought land for them to live on. He was finally home in the land God had promised him. God changed Jacob's life and gave him a new name, Israel. Jesus came so that we might have a changed life, forgiven of sin. Jesus' death and resurrection provided sinful people the way to be adopted into God's family. When we are adopted into the family of God, we also receive a new name, children of God.